Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this packed video short, we're going to talk about curriculum architecture design planning. PAC is an acronym. It stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. The four phases of a CAD project help structure the overall project planning effort. The articulation of the outputs per phase is also used and reflected in the project plan, that document. The various teams are already pre-prescribed, you may call them whatever you like, but we use project steering team, analysis team, design team, and implementation planning team. But a rose is a rose is a rose, and if there's more appropriate language for you to use in the context that you work in, do so. In the first phase, there's some request that's going to be screened in some manner to determine if we're going to go forward on this. There are four sub-phases to this first phase. There's pre-project planning, then there's the initial project planning, then there's a phase one gate review, and then post gate review, there's an update to whatever was produced previously and a transition is prepared for. I like to think of it as plan it, do it, review it, update it, and move on. That's the consistent pattern. When we go into phase two, analysis, there's the pre-analysis planning and data preparation and all of that. So we prepare for it, then we do it, then we review it, then we clean it up and we transition. Phase three, from the analysis phase through the design phase, we do our pre-design planning, data gathering, and our preparation. Then we do the actual design process. We like to do design team meetings and facilitate the analysis team through the creation of the design. Then we document that, then we get ready for the gate review meeting where we review it. And then we clean up whatever we've been given in terms of feedback. And then we get ready to transition into the next phase. So we prepare for it, we do it, we review it, we clean it up and we move on. In the fourth and final phase, we're doing implementation planning. There was a training and development path produced in phase three and a planning guide, but we were able to identify where we're going to reuse existing content that was uncovered in phase two and where we have partial content that we can use after modification and where we have total gaps. So the gaps need to be prioritized and priced and a cost model put together. And then that's reviewed at the gate review meeting. And then the cleanup happens after that. One CAD project with all of its gaps prioritized in the fourth phase leads to many downstream MCD and IED efforts, modular curriculum development and acquisition, and instructional activity development and acquisition. In phase four, in subphase point two, the implementation planning and documentation that will be reviewed in the gate review meeting and approved or modified by the project steering team dictates what kinds of projects we're going to have downstream in MCD and IED. The planning that's put together in that 4.2 phase might be the very same as what's needed in the first phase of MCD. It depends on what level of depth was done back in phase four of CAD in order to plan for the downstream projects. Perhaps high level planning was done in, fourth, in the fourth phase of CAD and that more detailed planning will have to happen in the MCD efforts. As always, it depends. It depends on what you did previously. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.